to gather again to entertain and play games. Welcome back, we're the 2-Bit Players. Like I was saying, Season of the Witch, starring Nick Cage. I'm Noah. Uh, I'm Jeffrey. We're the 2-Bit Players. We actually didn't say that in the last episode. Hopefully they know who we are. We just said, I'm Noah, you're Jeffrey, and... Here's could, my Scooby-Doo story. We could be anybody. Mm -hmm. We're the Game Grumps. Hey, welcome <gasps> to another episode of Game Grumps. Uh, we're your guest stars, and we're also on a guest channel. <laughs> exactly. Posting on a guest channel. They don't know. They don't fucking know, dude. It could be anything. <laughs> um. Anyways, Season of Witch, it's, it was dumb, but it was fun, and I was watching it because it's all old-timey and witches and stuff, and castles and things, and I'm like, I want to take this movie... And chop it up into little chunks and sprinkle it through one season of Game of Thrones. Oh. See if anybody notices. <laughs> Put a little bit of The Witcher in there, too. Yeah, I could throw The Witcher in there and it just cuts in between to, like, this plot. Because um, that's essentially what Game of Thrones is. You take ten episodes of Game of Thrones and you just cut together all of, like, Jon Snow's story. Uh -huh. It's like a two-hour movie. What else could you fit in there? Uh, Some of Assassin's Creed with... With, from uh, the movie, Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender. <laughs> Just chop that throughout. Maybe some of the Patriot, if you get really ballsy with Whoa, it. Oh, I can put the Patriot. <laughs> um, <laughs> Patriot? Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, gosh. I could put uh, a Knight's Tale in there, too. Oh, yeah. With uh, Heath Ledger. A couple musical scenes, but that's okay. That'd be great. Most 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 TV shows do like a musical episode. They usually do. Night's Tale will uh, cover all that, and then we could just put in like um, ten things I hate about you. Yeah. Sprinkle that through the season of Game of Thrones. Um, that would be fucking wild. It's like those people that remix those trailers for things. Yeah, I saw one where they took the whole MCU and turned it into a horror movie. Oh. It was kind of cool, but it was also kind of a mess. Um, what did they do to like make it horror-y? They obviously background music has a lot to do with it, sure. And just chopping stuff has a lot to do with it, and showing like cool lines. Like um, Ultron is very like a very cool, creepy kind of character. <laughs> okay. So it started with him. You just gotta watch it. It's just like in the technique of the edit um, hmm. and some of the lines they said, like the dramatic lines and the like, cuts. Um, but the thing that I thought was kind of sloppy is that it didn't really have, like, a story to it. There wasn't, like, a villain, like Ultron, or... So it was just, like, a bunch of little, like, six-second things. Oh, okay. For, like, two and a half minutes. Gotcha. Um, it didn't create, like, a, th a through line of, like, yeah, oh, of, like, man. what is this about? What's this movie about? Yeah. Like, oh, man, like, they could have made, like, Nick Fury, like, a psycho killer. Like, <laughs> bring all these people together and try yeah. to... Pitting them, pitting, pitting them against each other. Pitting them against each other. But that would be really hard to do because you'd have to find evidence to support that for yeah. a trailer. But you'd only have to find a couple minutes of it. Um, but it was cool. Hmm. I like the one with Mary Poppins as a horror movie. That's a great that one. The really head spinning good. around. Yeah, that one's really good. Isn't there The Shining as like a rom-com? Yeah, like a comedy, yeah. That one's awesome. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Language. Oh Dude. shit, oh shit. That's better. Cool. You're gonna kill me, just kill me. Ah. For the love of God, shut the fuck up! Oh my god, you know my uncle? Yes. I probably shouldn't have mentioned his name. Can you beep his name out? Sure. He's gonna freak out if I mention him on the internet. Um, He's really into conspiracy theories. <laughs> Hence why beeping his name out? Yeah, that's why I'm like, I, for his own protection, I want to censor him. Do I need to just him. escape? Oh no, I need to go down. Okay. Uh. He sent me this video last night. Do you know who Tila Tequila is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he sends me this video last night. Her on like a podcast or something, just talking. Uh -huh. It wasn't a video, it was just a podcast. Talking about like um, cloning centers. Okay. And how they are cloning people. And talking about all kinds of other shit. Too. And, but that was like the main focus. And I didn't get far into it because it was kind of glitchy, like uh -huh. the audio quality, and it was kind of because she was a clone. 
And so I texted my uncle, I was like, dude, Tila Tequila, like, I don't know about her. Isn't she like a reality star? And then I, I texted him that last night. And then this morning he texted me. Because um, I didn't get that far into it. And uh, he just said, they cloned her. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he said. They cloned her. And I'm like, Tila Tequila is a clone? <laughs> what kind of weird ass conspiracy theory is this? But she's saying she's a clone. Huh. So, I don't know. Maybe she Who is. Knows? Who would know more than the clone? But clones aren't supposed to know they're clones. How do you know? Didn't How you see the prestige? You okay. yeah, That's true. Fine. Also, that's the whole point of that movie. Also, the island. Yeah. And this is dumb as shit. And the one land. Are there clones in that? Huh? Are there clones on the one land? Probably. Yeah. Uh, well, they're virtual clones. Hmm. Um, man, that. This might be our chance. Show up. Who do you send it to? The, uh, Michael Bay's The Island Just was better than Netflix's The Island. Island. The Michael, that's one with Ewan McGregor. And uh, Scarlett Johansson. Oh, <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. Johansson. Did you know what? that she was down to do a nude scene in that? But Michael Bay was like, nah. <laughs> what no. the fuck, Michael Bay? <laughs> Um, that movie was so dumb. I remember watching it. Wait, you she and was Adam down and to like wait. So she She's just like, like she, she offered like, it. She, it sound that's what I heard. I haven't looked. She that says, much "Michael, I'm dying to be naked in this movie." In this, movie, <laughs> this was exactly that. nothing like, gets me naked no. like you and McGregor. And he was like, "No, we're not doing that. Please, that's dude, filth. wait, save that filth for another movie." You were talking about umbrella connections. I just like came out of the mines underneath the baker's residence into like a what? lab facility. Oh my god! I'm gonna open one of them and find a nude Scarlett, a Scarlett Johansson. Oh, yep. Um, but yeah, I remember watching that movie in theaters. You, Adam, and your dad, mm -hmm. and coming out of it, and I remember Adam loved it. I seem to recall you really liked it too. I think I really liked and it. And then me and your dad were like, "That was the dumbest fucking movie." <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. I want to watch it again, though. Yeah, uh, you'll you'll come around. Uh, maybe I will. Yeah. Maybe I will. I, I'm in a different mindset. When I go into, like, certain movies, I'm like, okay, this is a Michael Bay movie. I need to prepare myself for that. Mm-hmm. Like, I need to prepare myself for these enemies just, like, these hanging there in that room. Enemies. <laughs> these pregnant Pregnamies. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Okay, pictures of things like, that I already know. Why would anybody know. even take a photo of that? Yeah. Well, that's why they didn't keep it. They're like, oh. Not a good one. Not sending this one off to Umbrella Monthly. Uh, this one's not going into the company newsletter. <laughs> no one gives a shit about this. Guess Go in there and fuck them up, dude. You got 84 bullets. I was trying to... There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh. This room full of subwoofers. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Bring him into the subwoofer dungeon. No. Subwoofer dungeon. Oh, there's three of them. One's regular. Woo, that gun is bam. It's the, the anti- ice bullets? It's the anti-regen. It's the only way I can kill the white ones. Oh, I missed all of that. <laughs> That's in the other last couple episodes, I, I would say. I about Scooby-Doo. You know. Nothing wrong with that. Would you want to play back to Scooby-Doo for a second? Would you play that? I'd be down, yeah, absolutely. You could be Fred. Yeah, I'll you be have Fred. You have more I've done it before. You're one of the most famous Freds in the world. You know that, right? It's it's me, and Fred, Fred Armisen, and Fred Willard. May he rest in peace. No, I mean Fred. Scooby-Doo Freds. I know. Me as Fred Jones. You're one of the most famous Fred Jones. Oh, okay. Not Freds. Freddy Krueger's the most famous. Hmm. Um, Freddie Mercury. Oh, forgot about him. <laughs> yeah, what? What's another famous Fred? Uh, Fred, that YouTube star that had the high voice and was like a 13-year-old child. Oh like, my god, did child? you do a movie with John Cena? I think so. I feel like I... every YouTube child star had a movie with John Cena. <laughs> Good for John Cena. I hear he's really nice. Yeah. But no, you're like one of the most famous Freddie Joneses. Like, gotta be top 20. Right? Sure, why not? In the world. Noah Fish as Fred Jones. You got it. You rake up there. I popularize. Let's split up, gang. I don't know if you popularized it. Okay, relax. I, I'm the one that made famous. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> As you pull it. <laughs> um, and put on an Admiral Akbar. <laughs> it's a trap. Fish mask. That'd be fucking dope. Um, 
That was a really weird like, like huh, so, it, Star Wars exists in the Scooby Doo universe. <laughs> and Freddie Jones is Admiral Ackbar? For I'm the people s- who don't know, Noah was in a very successful uh worldwide tour production produced by Warner Brothers yep. of Scooby Doo. Mm-hmm. Where you played Fred Jones. I caught it at the Dolby Theater. With the same place that they hold the Academy Awards is where yeah. I saw your performance. It was that legit. It was fucking legit. I don't remember at all what it was about. It was legit. The show sucked, <laughs> but <laughs> I remember I had a fun. I enjoyed it. It's a perfectly fine time. It was. Uh, it was super fun. I don't remember. Was it that the the place we were in was haunted? Yes. And you had to like solve the mystery of the Dolby Theater. The mystery haunting, of the Dolby Theater. Which I think is a really smart idea. Yeah. Um, Except when you really think about it, you're in the Dolby Theater, yet you're watching on stage them stand outside the Dolby Theater being like, let's go and investigate. I never thought about that. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, now that show sucks ass. <laughs> no, it's terrible. Now it's garbage. Uh, but no, it was super fun. I remember it was great. How long were you working on that show? Nine months. That's a long time. Yep. It's a long time. It is. And you gained nothing from it. I know. <laughs> Except your wife. I gained my wife. <laughs> Very Except true. You got a wife out of it. Yeah. Um, and a bunch of uh, wedding obligations. Oh, I feel like of... every three months you're going to another oh, cast yes. member's wedding. That's true. No, they're all married now. Oh, yeah, because it hasn't happened in a while. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did they all go to your wedding? They did, yeah. All of them? Yes. Two of them, Velma and Daphne, were in the bridal party. Right, because I remember Velma was... Had very strong shoulders or something. She's right? a personal fitness trainer. Personal fitness trainer. She had very strong shoulders. Yep. I don't remember Daphne. Oh yeah, Daphne, of course. Yeah. And uh, I was, was like, one, she I was, was the, like, she was the one bridesmaid in the purple dress and the red hair with yeah. the bandana. I was about to say, I was like, who was Fred? <laughs> that was you. Who was Scooby? Was he there? He was not there. We had to put him down. <laughs> we had to put him down. Great Danes don't live that. He got long. bit by a raccoon. <laughs> What? You got rabies. You got rabies. You had to put him down. No, we had an old yeller as ass. Jesus. Uh, uh, things got a little out of hand, but I took care of it. I'm sending the e data now. Shouldn't take too long. After it goes through, I'm out of here. E for umbrella. Maybe. <laughs> it could be for umbrella. <laughs> Possibly. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I we'll think find out. Something. It's a clue. Maybe we'll find out no. what it stands for next time. next time. Our voices are small, but we'll reach you. We can listen up. Black Lives Matter. Seriously, just donate if you can.